I-V-B-N, the rich video blog network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blog, great sports video blogs, great entertainment video blogs, great MBTA video blog, plus tons more collection of my work, goes back to June of 2000. 14 on several social media websites. RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 2.35 in the afternoon in Bellingham, Massachusetts. About 42 degrees and a mix in sun of clouds. Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Sunday, March 26, 2017. Some news to report on the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Last night, the Boston Bruins beat the New York Islanders by a score of 2-1. to one. The Bruins are, have the second wild card in the Eastern Conference. But they have to start winning to solidify a playoff spot. Also, Gonzaga and Oregon have clinched berths in the Final Four. And Harvard and University of Minnesota Duluth have clinched spots in the Frozen Four. And it's happy Purple Day in the United States and Canada to promote awareness of epilepsy. And that's about it on news from the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my first video blog subject of the The history of the Bill Masterson Award. Keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Rosebud of WCCO accent and nice legs. Elizabeth Hart, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 New York, such a rocking cougar. Got the best legs in New York City, bar none. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Renclair of WHC Channel 7 in, in Boston has the best legs in Boston. Cute leggy blondes only on RBBN. Time now is 2.37 in the afternoon. I'm back. My First video blog subject of the day is about the history of the Bill Masterson Award. Each year, the NHL gives out the Bill Masterson Award for a player who shows dedication and perseverance to hockey, and usually it's a player who's overcome serious injuries or illnesses or tragedy, or sometimes has great stats and has longevity. Background on the Bill Masterson Award. Back on January of 1968, Bill Masterson, who was a forward for the Minnesota North Stars, took a big hit in a game against the Oakland Seals. He passed away Three days later, he's the only player to suffer injuries in an NHL game that led to his death. And the NHL, NHL has decided that year to have a Bill Masterson's Award for the best player who persevives in like dedication and perseverance. And each and every year, they have um, a the writers chapter of each NA South City nominate a Bill Masterson Award winner for their team. And at the end of the NHL season, there's three finalists for the Bill Masterson Award, and that award gets presented at the NHL Award Ceremony. And they have not had multiple winners of the Bill Masterson's award because it only goes to a player once. Some of the big names that have won the Bill Masterson award for over the years were Bobby Clark. He won it for like 
overcoming diabetes. Henry Rashad for his dedication for one team. Butch Goring for like being small and stat show. And John Littell who was a productive player. And Rod Gilbert who had some back issues early in his career. Charlie Simmer when he played for the Boston Bruins. He overcame um, knee problems that eventually he scored 30 goals. Gord Kluzak trying to come back from many knee injuries. Mario Lemieux who like had non-Hodgkin's disease and Cam Neely who you know came back from missing parts of two seasons with serious knee issues. Pat LaFontaine for coming back from post-concussion syndrome. Um, John Cullen who um, overcame cancer and many many others. Phil Kessel um, won it in 2007 for missing 12 games due to testicular cancer. The last player to win the Bill Masterson Award was Yamir Yaga in 2016. And I bet in 2017 the Bill Masterson Award's probably going to go to Craig Anderson of the Ottawa Senators because he missed some time during the season while his wife Nicole was being treated for cancer and that's so much dedication uh, doing that leaving the team for a significant amount of time and come back and that's about it on the Bill Madison award I'll be back for the third and final video blog of the night which will be about I mean the second and final video blog of the night which will be about the WWE MSG house show card from September 21st, 1987. Keep calm, everybody. I'm Julie Benigai. My little old spot of WCCO Oxen has nice legs. Elizabeth Hatso, so sunny, and she's fast. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome. Amy Linda Church of WPI, Channel 11, New York. Such a rocking cougar to get the best legs in New York State. Bar none. Bobby Gives at ABC 11 has sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Alia Woolley of WABI TV5 in Bangor, Maine. It's a big UMass Lowell River Hawks fan. She got the best legs in Maine, bar none. Bye now. See you later.